Good evening, YouTube. My name is Matt, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys something that has been a long time coming. It is my Portal official speedrun. Yes, awesome. Now, before I uh, before I get this started, I would just like to make it perfectly clear that I am not playing on PC. So that means no ABH, no uh, no uh, edge glitches, no save glitches, none of that stuff. It's just pure anything. Anybody who has a console can do this kind of stuff. But I can do it very well and very speedily, apparently. But uh, this is not uh, this is not a live commentary because I find that all the tries that I did, if I did all of them live commentaries, uh, it would get so annoying that I would probably just kill myself in the end because it would just be like, yeah, I have to restart this now, or some rage that that like goes well with that. Anyways, but yeah. I am really excited for bringing you guys this because this this took so much effort and This was just such a pain in the ass to bring to you guys And I really hope you do enjoy it because like like I'm not even sure if just only my subscribers will be seeing it But like anyway, so I just jump out of the gate, you know, just uh Blow out of the gate. Let's go. Let's start it. Uh, let's start it really fast. You know, let's grab the let's grab the cube. Let's put it on the put it on the button and run. I'm actually not gonna do so much of a play by play for the first few uh, first few levels, just because I can think you can pretty fi pretty much figure out what's going on on the screen there. But uh, yeah, I want to talk to you guys about uh, some other stuff like uh, Portal Two. Portal Two, as of right now, it is coming out in six days. Which is pretty fucking crazy. I just pre-ordered it today, and man, I am so excited for it. Like, I don't think you understand. I'm probably one of the most excited people in the world for this game. I think that's a bit cocky, but yes, I completely, like, I, I think I might be able to say that. Because I am so, I am so down for Portal 2. It is gonna be, it is, honestly, Portal 1, it's the best game I've ever played in my entire life. So why the hell not? Not should I be excited about the sequel the sequel if it even comes to like if it even comes within swinging distance of portal 1 it's gonna be the second greatest game ever made and hopefully it destroys portal 1 because of the new multiplayer feature and hopefully I really think they'd be dumb asses to leave this out but a map creator think about it like they have to be actually retarded not to include a map maker because it just it doesn't make sense you know there's every every stage every level in portal it's very limited it's all there's not complicated shit or anything like it like even in halo like halo there's complicated rocks there's all this crap but they they pulled it off fine with forge and that's what i'm saying they need to do this with portal 2 if they don't i'm going to be seriously disappointed with valve because how are they going to be able to ship an 80 dollar game with just multiplayer and single player campaign i don't understand that like they have to throw in uh they have to throw in a uh, map editing system now I was talking about this to my friends and he said like he said yeah they are going to put one in but it's going to be exclusive to PC and PS3 and I didn't really understand his reasoning behind that because he said it's only because Steam is on PS3 and PC and I'm like that doesn't make any sense you know it's shipped with the game maybe like uh, downloading maps from other people would only work for the PS3 and PC because of Steam but other than that I really don't understand why you wouldn't have a basic map editor for Xbox 360 you know because that's what I'm gonna be playing this game on I've got it uh, I've got it um I just got I just bought a new computer there but I'm not it's still not that great you know it's not it doesn't have a good GPU uh, for you for those who of you who don't know what that is that's a graphics card and uh, it doesn't have a my computer doesn't have a very good GPU so I'm not gonna be able to play portal 2 a max graphics and I really want to bring you guys like as good quality gameplay as possible that's why I'm gonna have to just record my capture card and uh, Anyway, uh, I think we're getting into the gameplay a bit more here. So right here, what I like to do is I like to shoot right there because when the orange portal opens up, it, it uh, destroys the camera. And what I try to do there is I try to, with my momentum, uh, hit the hit the cube while the portal opens up underneath it, so that it flies out and it lands on the ground. and I don't have to deal with it later. That was that's just good. It's just good practice. Uh, how I uh, how I could do that really quickly. And right here, I just found it's funny when you can just destroy things like that. It's a very good game, and uh, you know it's a, it's a lot of fun. But right here, if you can see why I'm screwing around, I think a lot of you probably know this. The elevator doesn't start to move until you hear the shh from the end of Glados's uh, uh, talking speech, whatever you know. Because otherwise, it's just you're just gonna be wasting time sitting. In, well, not it's not so much wasting time, but I like to sort of roam around a little bit. And if you're just sitting in an elevator, it's kind of dumb. 
But right here, th there's a very special way that you have to do this. You have to back up a lot and you have to ch you have to crouch while you're going through that. Otherwise, you're going to smack your head on the lip and you're not going to be able to make it. And so I've always noticed that when people are playing Portal, they always go nuts in the elevators. And it's because when when you're like this high strung of a game and you're trying to do a speed run, you're like a caged tiger. You want to jump out and go as far as... Just uh, go as fast as you can. Here I was trying to line up my portal. This, honestly, I don't know anybody who can do this on console. Anybody. I honestly have been looking on YouTube searches all the time. I cannot find someone on, on console who can do that. I think if I looked at leaderboards, I'd probably be in the top 10 for time on that room. Just because that is retarded. I just honestly retarded. That is such a hard room to complete that fast. Because it's just... Just try, just try. I dare you. Just go and try. This one, what I tried, what I tried to do is I needed to aim it perfectly. Boom, got it. And then what you do is here is, is there's a little lip on the side where you have to crouch and you have to jump. And right there, if you don't crouch before you jump over the little railing there, you can still make it, but it is very difficult. But I, I, I really like. I, I didn't get lucky with that one at all because I've been practicing a lot. But that, that jump is really, it's very difficult. If you're gonna have to practice it a lot if you want to get it perfectly. This one, this one's very easy. It's just smart portal placement. You have to shoot a portal underneath the thing there, right there, and you have to jump through. And immediately when you jump back, you can uh, you can come out the back part because if you jump, it'll uh, it'll push you through to the top part, and you're on the other side. Awesome. So that was the end of that uh, that chamber. You can do that one fair, fairly quickly. You can get through it without her finishing the. You can get through it without her finishing the dialogue very quickly. Uh, finishing the dialogue. Anyway, <sighs> messed up my voice there. Oh well. This one. This is a very easy chamber to do. Um, you just yeah. You just go and you turn. And you shoot the portal there, and when it opens, you want to try to shoot it there as fast as possible and pop out. And look at that. You're already over here. Now this is a. It's a. It's a. A look activated thing that will never pop out until you look at it. And what you want to do is you want to come in through the top and still push left, and then you have to. And then it, the momentum it brings you right through. Speedy thing goes in. Speedy thing come. Uh, speedy thing comes out. Anyway, this next one, this one, this next chamber gives me a bit of trouble whenever I do it. I might get it on my second try on most runs because uh, what happens is that there's a, um, um, when you just jump, like I'll show you, uh, when you, um, when you just come out and you shoot a portal to your right, to your immediate right, you're going to, what you're going to do is there's a, 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 you have to shoot a portal there. And then when you jump here, if you hit your head at the top, you will just fall in the you'll just fall on the sledge and die. And it happens a lot. It ha lot happens a lot more than you think. Now right here, what you do is you, you do a portal bump glitch through that. I don't have time to explain what that is. And it comes out of the map and you shoot it from up there and you land there and you come on top here. And what happens is while you're falling through, if you shoot the portal while you're falling through, it'll glitch you back into the map. And look at that. I just skipped the entire uh, I just skipped an entire level. That saved about two minutes off my time. I'd say eh, maybe about minute twenty, not so much two minutes. But it still it took uh, it takes some takes it takes a little bit of time to get that one right. Not really right, but to do it fast, it takes a little bit of time. This one it was it's very easy. You just do that to get the block quicker. Come here, you shoot it through the the mesh, you grab the block, go drop it on the button. You jump here. What I did is I was waiting until the the. the the particle thing passed by before I stepped on the button so I wouldn't die. Uh, normally I probably wouldn't have done that. I could have just stepped onto the lip and maybe opened it a bit faster, got through there maybe one or two seconds earlier. That's that that's not that doesn't really matter that much, you know. I wasn't going for perfect on this one. I was just trying to do no deaths, no screw ups, you know? Not so much the fastest I can possibly do. This this one takes a lot of practice to get right on the first try, and it sucks so much because if you get that wrong in the middle of the speed run, that's nine minutes through. So you, and if you get that wrong, that is fucking, that sucks so much. It really does because then you have to restart it, you have to go back, you have to do all that shit, and it's really annoying. That's why I, I had to practice that one about a hundred times before I could get it perfectly every single time. This one, it's not that difficult. You just have to kind of remember where where everything is. Like here. Uh, 
Uh, what I like to do is I like to uh, I like to press up against the right wall here and hit right on the black spot in there. And what you have to do is you have to get through this fast enough so that you can shoot both portals while the thing is passing through. Then you shoot one up there and you can get through very quickly. Then you shoot one on the ceiling. And here, what you do is you pass through this portal and you land. And with the momentum, you shoot backwards and you go back and you uh, you aim backwards like that. And you just go right over the thing and you uh, get about five seconds on your time. Now this this is very self-explanatory. You're just you're just peak a portaling. Uh, through. Then you shoot one on the ground, you shoot one on the ceiling, and you drop down with the momentum, you get launched up, and that's the end of the first part. Hope you guys enjoyed.